Hello everyone. To add a lot type to an empty lot, you go into build mode and click on venue info and click on this drop down menu and you can change to whatever lot type you want it to be. So we'll change this to a, maybe it could be a park. So when you change your lot type or add a lot type, you will have specific requirements for specific lots. So a park will need all of these essential things like a toilet and a sink and a bench and a chess table. So you'll need to add these things to your venue. If you ignore the requirements, when you go back into manage worlds, it will ask you, are you sure you want to leave this mode? Your venue is still incomplete. And if you tick yes, your venue will now have this funny orange exclamation mark triangle. If you ever see that, it is because the venue is incomplete. So once you've placed everything you need on your lot, everything will be ticked green and you can actually change the lot name as well. So we'll call this Willow Creek Park. And now when you go into Manage Worlds, your lot will be complete. If you have a residential lot that you would like to change the lot type, if you're not changing it to a tiny home or a haunted house residential, the sim that is living there will have to move out so that you can change the lot type. So poor Juliet here is going to have to move out so we can change her lot type. So poor Juliet has been moved to Bargain Bend. So we are going to change the lot type of Crick Cabana. So again, go into build mode and click on venue info. And what are we gonna change it? Maybe it can become a rental. With rentals, it will automatically set the rental price. Okay, and we'll leave it as Crick Cabana. But I mean, you could change it to, you could change it to, an, to a cafe as well. You would have to add everything that you need that is required for that lot. But we'll leave it as a rental for now. There are some special lots that cannot be changed. The Von Haunt Estate, which is the Chalet Gardens, you cannot change that. So if you click on venue info, you will see that it's disabled for special venues. And the San Machino apartments cannot be changed either. And that goes for the Evergreen Harbour apartments as well. Juliet is not happy about having to move. She's standing in the rain. So I think I'm going to change her new lot into a tiny home. So you click on build mode, click on venue info and tiny home and then with the tiny homes you will have certain requirements as well so you've got a three-tier home a tiny home and a micro home and it will just depend on the amount of tiles that you need and there we go she has a tiny home you better get inside because it's pouring with rain bye Juliet see you next time